Hello everyone and welcome back to another SQL tutorial with Learn at Nostra. Today we are going to write a SQL query to solve one of the SQL interview questions asked in a Google interview. So the question specifically asks to find the median number of searches a user made last year because the Google marketing team wants to put it in a Super Bowl ad and since the, the number of searches at a Google scale are trillions of searches, they have a summary table which summarizes the number of searches made by the users. For example, in a sample table here called search underscore frequency, two users made one search, two users made two searches, three users made three searches and so on. So now we need to find out the median of these searches and round it to one decimal point. So before we start writing the SQL query, we need to know what is a median or how is a median defined. A median is defined as the middle value in a sorted data set. So let's say our data set contains these values 1, 2, 5, 7, 9. So we have 5 distinct numbers in our data set and the middle value will be 5 because this is a sorted data set. If this were an unsorted data set like this, the first step would have been to sort this data set in an ascending manner and then we had to find the middle value. Now when you have an odd number of values in your data set, it is easier to find the middle value because that is the middle number in your series. But let's say we had an even number of values in our data set. In that case, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. So in this case, the median would be the average of these two numbers, which is 7 plus 5 divided by 2, which comes to 6. Now coming back to our example, the first step for us is to expand this summarize table and then use the values in the expanded data set, sort them and then find the median. Now this is how our expanded data set is going to look like. Now how can you expand this summarize table? To do that, we need to create a recursive CTE. So let's call it with search underscore expanded as select. So first is the base query in a recursive CTE and that's going to select the searches, the number of users and one as the count from our search table. So this is your base or anchor query and then we have to use a union all and keep incrementing till the count reaches the number of users. Now if you do a simple select from the recursive CD that we have just defined. So now there are two records for one search and three users had performed a search three times. So now you can see there are three records for that search. So the series is expanded. If you're not very familiar with how a recursive CD works, then there's a video in the link above that you can check out to understand how a recursive CD works. So now we have the expanded series and the next step is pretty simple. We just need to find out the median. To find out the median, it's very straightforward. We can use a Windows function called percentile underscore c-o-n-t which creates a continuous percentile and you can define the median as the 50th percentile. So percentile underscore count and since median is going to be the 50th percentile we are going to say 0 0.50 and you have to define within group. We are going to order a data set by the searches. Since it is a Windows function, you need to have an over clause. Since we're not partitioning by anything, we're just going to keep the clause as blank and you can call it as median and you have to select that data from the recursive CDE. If you execute this, you will get the median. So it's already rounded to one decimal place as the question asks us specifically to round it to one decimal place. Round function to round it to one decimal point and since we got a record for each row we are going to add a distinct to get a single record in the output. 
I hope that this video was useful. If it was, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.